action. My question is whether there are any measures in the fall economic statement that would remove incentives that are currently in place that corporate uh, real estate investors are benefiting from in order to turn homes in this country into commodities. For example, and I, uh, I would share with you, is the incentive currently in place that offers tax exemptions for real estate investment trusts. Um, are you aware of any measures in the fall economic statement that would address the financialization of housing? I think the only thing I'd point to we discussed a bit was the Airbnb or the, the short-term rental tax measure and enforcement fund would be in that vein. Uh, would be the one thing that comes to mind. There's nothing on real estate investment trusts in, in the fall economic statement. Great. And um, can I ask whether officials in the minister's office have been seeking input and advice from the Department of Finance with respect to actions they may take with respect to financialization of housing? So what we would, just to maybe clarify process, I mean, as we look forward and think about housing challenges, we will as officials provide advice to the minister going forward about ways to improve both overall housing supply, as I think is kind of the theme in the fall economic state statement of building more housing more quickly, and also with a focus on affordability. I mean, I think as the minister talked earlier. So in, the, in that context, you know, I, I think we'll run through a gamut of issues, and that could include, but uh, it will depend a little bit on exactly both Issues like, well, issues like the overall fiscal room timing, et cetera, uh, that we'll, we'll consider. Uh, uh, there's well, well, well past the time, yeah. And